What's going on, everybody? I'm here. I am just got the USF 2000 and running at SPA with the open or the official practices. Just gonna first impressions of it. Let's see how it is. So, one thing about this car is I know it runs ovals as well and it has an oval setup. So, with that, knowing that, I think it'd be pretty cool to run like obviously oval races and do hosted with my buddies if they do get it. So, be on the lookout for that. There's the mirror. I don't really like that being there, but it's quicker than I thought, um, or slower than I thought. I thought it would be a lot quicker, but probably do two or three laps and then finish off the video. Talk about the series. So I think the series is in C class, C or D for road, but it does have ovals. So if you are, that was my first corner with it. That was not good. So, it uh, it does feel like it has a ton of grip and downforce. You just got to be easy to make sure that you don't lock up the brakes, um, like how I just did. It drives like a pro Mazda, but it doesn't turn as well and has worse brakes. And I think with it, that would make it cool. Um, I'm gonna probably do a race. They're 15 minute races, so I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure that they are in D class, so they're a good starter series, uh, but that's the only season that they're able to run in. And the only season that you can drive them in. Um, but you get 130 max speed around like a circuit, maybe 150 some places, but especially at spot, a long track like this. Uh, the series is fixed set up, so you can look into that and if you don't want to make setup there you go or if you want to learn it does have quite a few things to kind of adjust on and do so there is that uh, so if you want to learn something this might not be a bad car um, to like learn F1 setups or like the Renault 3.5 or whatever just the other Renaults. Um yeah this thing is not as quick as I was hoping but it is, it, I feel like on a shorter circuit or something like that would be funner. Um, it doesn't get any wheel spin, which is good. So it is like a, all around a good like learning car. It is, uh, especially with the ovals and stuff. So if you want to start running ovals or whatever in your road racer, this is a good practice for that. Um, all right, first time, let's see what time it runs around Spa. I know the GT1 Corvettes, I think, ran around two minutes or something. Um, if you stay in fifth, and as soon as it goes uphill, it drops RPMs. And then as soon as you get uphill, it starts picking them back up. So, it, uh, it's, uh, from, like, the first lap, obviously, tires and uh, brakes aren't warm, but it does feel comfortable. I will say, it probably races pretty good but it's not the most entertaining by yourself, so. Um, like the Dalla, I think it is fun even by yourself just running laps. Uh, this track probably doesn't help. I do love Spa, but it's such a big track for this car. Racing-wise, I think it would be really cool. Um, you can throw it in pretty hard. I don't think it's going to spin no matter really hard how hard you drive it in or throw it in or whatever you want to do but uh yeah I like you can go pretty close to wide open through that corner even I think if you did like run your own hosted session or your own series in them you could get a setup that makes it to where you're wide open through most of these corners but then you'd sacrifice straightaway speed and I don't know if that's your smartest idea while driving this especially with limited top speed so just personal opinion with most of my road stuff I do go higher down force and straightaway speed which probably isn't smart but it just depends on what kind of I do think but um, yeah this thing's cool it's interesting I'll probably I will do a few races in them show you guys how uh, they race and all that we'll see I think it'll be a fun learning thing to get into um, yeah all in all do I think this car's worth it I will I'll let you know after the first race I do it. I think that they would be worth it. 
I think that they are probably a good learning thing, especially if you're a road guy trying to get into uh, ovals and because they do run on ovals and they have that setup. So, like I said, so I think it would be all around worth it. Um, you can learn both, even if you're an oval guy or something, and there's that few things like there's that. But if you're a road guy and want to run ovals, it's still like the Indy F1 looking car thing with the open open top and it does dry pretty good so you can just get used to it and I feel like it would be cool and no matter what track you drive um, but yeah this thing all around I do enjoy it is really interesting uh, the dash is different I will go through the tech things right before I, we leave or I head out but overdrove that corner maybe not See, I thought I overdrove that corner, but I just kind of threw it in, and it wasn't bad, so. It does stick. I will say, it runs a lot better than what, uh, when I first jumped out. So, just got to get the tires hot. But after that, it runs nice. Um, this corner's fun. I like this corner in any car. But, um, yeah, these, these things are really cool. They only hold... 10.6 gallons. That was my fault. I screwed that one bad. Um, yeah, they only had, well, 10.6 gallons. So, like 15 minutes, you would make it just perfect. If you were you were doing the official races, I doubt that you'd have to pit. It does change all four tires. I'm probably going to do a pit stop. I'll do a pit stop this time to show pit length, and I'll just fill it up and do tires. But um. Yeah, these things are cool. I'm gonna. I recent. I bought these in the Renault 3.5. So I'm gonna go back to Spa after this and make a video with that thing. So be on the lookout for that video if you want to know how that thing drives, and I'll tell you my review on it. But um, yeah, this thing all around is cool. I do enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, it runs oval and road, like I said, D class. So if you're just looking up something else to buy or just something else to run, I would. I would say yes. I would. I would, would I buy it again? I'll have to tell you that after the first race, but we'll see what pit stops are. Or how long. But, um, what I say buy it? I would say, yeah, if, uh, I would first obviously say, go back to my, uh, road course guide on how to get through the ranks and up your SR for road, but, uh, to look on what cars I kind of think would be best but if you're just looking for something else to run or if you want to start running the Renault 2.5 or the 3 or maybe the 3.5 and then the F1 cars if you want to go that route you can do this oh wow it filled up really quick so that's surprising I'm shocked it did that much but uh yeah it's a uh, all around a good car I don't mind it it's different definitely but uh, I do recommend it. It would be cool. Uh, it's a good thing. So, that uh, D-Class, I would say get it, learn it. It's fun. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like. Uh, if you guys want to watch any other videos, I'm going to have quite a few more guides coming out. So, turn on that bell if you guys uh, need some more iRacing tips or whatever. But uh, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, I forgot to mention the damage model isn't bad at all. I might just disqualify, but oh, damage model ain't bad. We'll have a look at that first before I go. Wow. Oh, it just disintegrates. Let me get out the camera and zoom it in. Sorry. That's crazy. Everything loses it. The rear spoiler. Let's see what this camera is. So you lose this pinch on all that, so. There's a bonus. If you wreck or whatever, you can go look at everything exploding like a popcorn. But on that, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys then. Peace out.